salutations mother truckers it's time once again for another road least traveled video again uh, like all of these from um, from the Steeler Souls it's a little bit of a misnomer I do actually know these quests reasonably well but again because of Sharn this guy gets put on the meh, probably not list more often than not uh, they're a little bit tougher than other quests around the same level range and even though they used to be like the go-to quest for experience they're just a little bit of a pain this one in particular the infight is extremely challenging even for for me especially now um, so it's just it's kind of become that thing where you don't you don't uh, think about you just ignore it uh, the Explorer Zone out here is actually really nice. Um, we'll probably end up having to run it a couple of times to get the gems that you need for um, moving on to being able to do the Steeler Souls area. But I'm not so worried about it that uh, I'm going to go out of my way now. We will, however, because that is not the button. Awesome enough to button want to. Uh, but because Ice Storm does bludgeoning damage, we're going to kill uh, Ice Storm. Let's. I'm just going to drink this potion. Push the acid. This, uh. This name quail can actually be quite problematic, so we're gonna have to make sure that he's not a problem. I feel like this has an extremely low drop rate, so this could be quite for fortunate for us. Mm, it wasn't, but it could have been. Alright. Never mind. Never mind, we didn't get no love today. Alright, quest entrance is behind this bush. Let's get started. Raw giant scary scorpion man. Summon our helper. Helper can start summoning level 9 monster. We're going to cast our various buffs. We do want to make sure we have a death ward running in here uh, before we go too far around the corner. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use my other quickie. Um, this there's a lot of like drow wizards and stuff like right here, especially around these corners. So I want to make sure that we're as ready as possible for anti negative anti negative level shenanigans. All right, we are going to go down this way, uh, so we're going to show that off. I'm just trying to decide the best way to kind of talk about. Talk about the quest. All right. Um, this tunnel uh, that I'm going to go down first is like laced with traps and um, shenanigans along the way, and it will eventually open up the shrine for us as well as like an extra chest. It's not always the most important, but it is the way where the most of the traps are. Okay. Um, so I want to go through that because this build is good at it and also because I feel like if you're doing this quest for experience you're gonna want to go down here and get these traps however if you don't care about that you can just proceed forward and and move around out here in the open area um, there are also traps in in that area as well but if you're looking for the trap bonus you you have to go this way to get things done um, but this uh, forward south is the primary focus on the quest and uh, traps shrine and a treasure box to the east here I think that kind of summed everything up oakley doakley uh, again our auto search doing work uh, we're gonna wait here one second because bad men will come come and get us Death to all the bugs. Death to all the bugs. Alright, is all of our damage firing through? Not 
thousand bits of sure law on the, on the side. Okay, this <laughs> this is one of the more fun slash interesting traps in the game. There's actually two traps here. You gonna kind of have to dance through the first to get to this to the second. Uh, this I believe is like swingy guillotines from the sky. Those are, of course, spinny blades. Um, so the way I do this particular hallway um, is I try to kind of treat it like a like a don't creep so far forward if I can help it type moment. Uh, in fact, I'm even going to try to stealth up here. Uh, if you can... You can avoid this fight. It's not critical that you skip it, but it just, I don't know. Any fight I can skip, I wanna skip, right? The Samus way. All right, control panel here. There'll be another swishy swish blade up here and a fight that we can't avoid. Look at that guy. Look at him. Full of ouchie. All the venom. Speaking of venom. How dare ye. Alright. So you notice we got this control panel, but we can't get in here because the force field is still up. We will lower this force field as soon as possible. <laughs> but this quest becomes kind of... Coming back here is a little bit, not of a challenge or a pain or whatever, but like, why, why do you spend time going back there again if you can help it? Hello, Plague Reaper, what are you doing? Having a good time? Reaping some folks. Again, wonderful fighting uh, things with no con. It's great. All right, you'll notice that large portions of these quests will have big red force fields that go across them. But that happens when the monsters are activated and have like a guardian of a, of a, pan, of a path. So like these guys over here have locked us in, right? They're basically saying, ha ha, you're, we're aggroed, son. Ooh, lag spike. Always jump through those doorways. There's always a possibility for a spike trap there. Um, even when I'm the trapper and I'm relatively certain there's not a trap there, I still jump through them. I am that paranoid, yes. Okay, here's that other end of that trap tunnel we talked about a little bit ago. Oh, they woke up in time to lock me out. They'll eventually either come out of there or lower the force field or both. Go even further away. We don't want the Fear Reaper fearing us. Just get Comet Fall from a million years away instead. That's you, Comet Falling us? What is you? Good meanie. minion cast the the healing magics on us cotton king welcome to the stream my friend the humming lesson right so there's these little buttons on the ground we don't have to worry about them going off uh once we step on them we can just hit them all day every day we don't care uh we just want to make sure we hit them at least once see what i mean see what i mean 
Traps, man. Traps, they're real. Uh, this is where we're going, by the way. This is the force field. Uh, the reason we want to lower the force field is to get that door open. Also, a lot of uh, hallway clipping in this quest. I don't know why this quest in particular is so bad. Um, but if it if it does it to you, just turn or move around slightly. Uh, you'll find angles that just constantly clip in this in this quest. Again, I, I don't know why why this quest in particular clips quite so bad. Doing pretty good tonight, actually. Pain levels are are low. I did not get another negative energy thing consumed before the old one wore off. Um, but uh, yeah, things are going pretty well. We recorded a video on the build, so people can get a reference to that pretty soon. Yeah, overall things are going fine. Alright, so we're running around pushing buttons. Those buttons will open doors in various locations, and those doors will reveal more buttons. So we eventually open all the buttons and find or all hit all the buttons, open all the doors and find a lever, a mysterious lever. And the mysterious lever will lower the force shield. There it is, there's our mysterious lever. You can keep going, these buttons will in fact open, continue opening those doors. The and there could be named Drow, but it's not important. All right, now that the force field is down, you can go and get the the treasure. But I'm going to try to do something a little bit a strong gust braver, a maybe is the word? I don't know. So, let's talk about this room really quick before I jump in here. This room is filled with reverse gravity. Gravity goes up. We want gravity to go down. Gravity will go down when we turn off this room. But, whoops, Kim's in trouble. But when that happens, we're going to fall down. So depending on whether or not we have disabled a trap in this room, these lattice of stuff will break away and oozes will fall, or uh, not oozes, gelatinous cubes will fall from the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to creep out really quick, or really closely here. And we're going to look and see if we can find a trap. If we can't, we're going to ease our way out here. Typically somewhere in this vicinity. And then we're going to, we have to auto run and like fiddle around to kind of get everything to go where we need it to go. Really? Search again this way. All right, if it's not here, the only other place I've ever seen it has been up against this, uh, this oh, yeah, there it is, over there. Oh, we're taking all sorts of damage. All the damage. Hang on a second, I've gotta, I gotta die, apparently. It's fine. Well, one second. You ever like blow your nose a whole lot and then your nose is like sore and then that skin all starts to like get hard and and problematic that's what that's what's going on right now for those of you watching the video wondering why Samus is like itching his nose I got a chunk of that that damaged dry skin like rubbing around the tip of my nose and it's causing me problems. Alright, apologies. So, trap is still abled. We're still here. We can carry on with the quest. But I... I'm stubborn. So let's, let's go back. We're gonna make this work. We can die a thousand times. I don't... I'm not worried about it. Like, 
The, the problem isn't that. The problem is, is that I'd like to demonstrate how this works for you guys. Um, however, your hireling is not subject to the anti-gravity effect. So if you, and your soul stone's not. So if you die and fall to the bottom, you can come back to life down there and just carry on with the quest like it doesn't matter. Okay? So a lot of people who do not have trapping abilities, I will actually, I know that they just die there and get raised at the bottom and move on. Like that is, that is a totally common and relatively acceptable way to deal with this. Uh, not what I want to do though. I would very much like to maneuver correctly here for you guys. Uh, the problem is, is this room like blows you around and it is quite problematic. And what you have to do so I'll take my hand off. I'm actually auto running against the wall here. And when you bend down to disable the device, it'll change your auto running um, angle as well. So a lot of the times you'll end up flicking the, uh, the side to side key to try to straighten out your auto, your auto run angle. You know what I probably should have done? In hindsight, so I probably should have turned on my um, it's, uh, uncanny dodge. All right, so now we're gonna go back. Whoop! Back to the beginning. One more time. And what we're going to try to do this time is we're gonna catch those various um, scaffolding on the way down. And we're gonna turn off those levers. Also, while we're up here, we're gonna stop and we're gonna pick up that uh, treasure chest and get that other trap. You notice that we have 13 traps so far. We'll be able to get this other one that'll take us to 14, I think. I don't know for sure, but I think that'll be enough to, to uh, oh, never mind. There's another, another one. There we go, 14 takes us to the correct number of traps disabled. Hoping to get that little bit of skin to come off without making it look like I'm picking my nose on camera, because that'd be gross. Gross. This is where this little hallway comes in really handy. This little cut through from the shrine to the rest of the quest. All right. So we're gonna put on our feather fall because now gravity is restored. We're gonna land on these ledges out here. And when we pull these levers, uh, the other one is on this side, right? Just like that. We pull these levers, this chest becomes available and we're no longer in danger of the big gelatinous cube falling from the sky and eating us. Although, honestly, once we're down here dead, we're we're not really in that danger anymore either. So, wasn't wasn't really for any other reason than to demonstrate the principle for everybody. All right, some drow will be hiding around. I even shrined. I even shrined knowing the reason why I shrined was to regain our negative our death ward protection. Much ashamed. All right. I'll do one more. Let the last one come off with time. Jump through the traps. We did not make it over the traps. Holy crap, that was a beating. 
couple of uh, scorpions, not a big deal. Okay, right here, little secret door with a bunch of scorpions. There we go. Bunch of scorpions uh, and a lever or a valve or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna trigger it. And what this will do is later on in the quest, there'll be a room that will now be filled with water, and I'll kind of point that out as uh, the reason why you pull this lever when it comes up. Yep, that's what we're doing right now. This is a walkthrough on YouTube for a Monastery of the Scorpion. Jump. Wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of the 17s uh, before we TR'd. I think we're going to TR tomorrow. So this scorpions are dangerous in here for sure, but we're gonna start running into monks now, and the monks are actually pretty scary. You're playing along with the roadmost, and you just started the cogs. Well, wow, perfect. And you'll be getting pretty close to a uh, true reincarnation if you want. It'll probably be tomorrow night, would be my guess. Um, or tomorrow afternoon as a, as a bonus thing. For the record, uh, we'll probably we we do have voting open now. For those of you who are watching the stream, I'd like to vote. Uh, is between Paladin and Alchemist. Paladin is currently winning by a pretty hefty margin, but uh, you know anything could happen. All right, so we're looking for a lever. This this area right here can be very badly trapped. Looks like we're good right now. Uh, and this this is a really interesting optional in my opinion. So we're gonna we're gonna clear up these scorpions. Scorpion that was messing with him before, I guess. Alright. So this is that room that we were talking about earlier that was filled with... That is now filled with water. Uh, before there's a little puzzle in here. Uh, yes, I'll be a dragonborn. Um... So here, there's like a little puzzle, and you can kind of, you can't really solve the puzzle. Wow, we've got quite a bit of, quite a bit of lag here, huh? Um, but as you try to solve the puzzle, eventually the puzzle will fall through. Paladin, okay. You hear a faintly familiar voice call out. Now, Holmes, you get what you deserve for not right being. here. That's that that pool of water that we talked about before, right? If we didn't pull that valve, there wouldn't be any water here, which means we would have landed in a big old pipe, 
big old trip, a big old pack of spikes. It would have been quite problematic. And then right here, we'll just keep we'll just keep jumping through this until we until we make it. There we go. Um, nope. There we go. I like to take care of this ooze. I don't like leaving things behind me. Um, so basically, just to be able to get that chest, is you need to be able to do that realistically to get that open. Alright. And let's get Woods votes in for Paladin. Five, six, seven. Wood has. I would think Wood. No, no, sorry. Wood's Wood's got six votes. Wood and uh, and Talab have the the two biggest pile of votes. So now Paladin is leading by 100% of the votes, by the way, for people who are interested. So we'll probably get to see some Paladin lives pretty soon. Alright, so we're looking for levers. If we don't see the levers, we do not have to enter those rooms as long as they're not um, activated. Slab hasn't voted yet. I think he started work this week at his new job, so I'm not I'm not sure we'll see him tonight. A magical barrier obstructs an ancient device. The Sybaris Dragon Shard Essence is well done. Okay, so we'll check this room. There's that lever we're looking for. It sounds like Remington's on his way downstairs. Or some other herd of elephants. Hey! How's it going? Going good. Just <clears throat> call in your presence as you come down the stairs. What's up, buddy? Uh, Mom is being, doing a very bad job of skipping commercials. So I'm trying to wait until she's done skipping the commercials. Okay. She's doing a very bad job at it and is trying to spoil the show. Okay. <laughs> The, the drama that comes from my life, everybody. <laughs> okay. Lever activated. Chest unlocked. Put this someplace else for right now because I'm going to try blowing my nose again. So, we looked for that lever to drop the force field around this quote-unquote puzzle up here. Now, what we're, what we're going to try to do is we're going to... Sorry about all that. Wow. People are just like trying to kill this, kill this guy for days. Uh, so what we're going to do is... We're trying to light up as many... Not really. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to explain certain things here. Right, let's see while I figured it out. Okay, good job. Alright, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to light up the appropriate of uh, these crystals, okay? So at first what we want to do is we want to light up all of them here. And what that that's basically going to... Active, lower this force field and activate these air jets. Okay. Now, there's a bunch of air jets throughout this uh, area, and light turning these um, crystals on turn on the air jets. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ride the air currents like a crazy person to get where we want to go. So like we want to go up here. 
we have an air jet turned on that'll basically blast us, well, theoretically blast us in the right direction. Let's try again. Catch the breeze. It's not catching the breeze today. For whatever reason, we're like hitting our feet. Pull your feet up. Come on, Samus. I don't understand why it's not. It's not. There we go. Now it blew me across. Uh, so it, the reason I don't have these blue ones on, for example, is it'd blow you all around this room. It's crazy. You're level six. Who wants to carry you? Uh, give me, give me a day or two. I'll be there. I'll help you. All right. So now we're gonna come over here on this side. Catch this red rune. Get blown around. Same thing with the extra orange, or the extra yellows in here, right? We just don't want to get blown all over this room. Had we turned on the other yellows, these would all be on as well. Um, I'm, I want this one. You're playing Muscle Wizard, I'd be proud. I am proud. Are you kidding me? Very proud. All right. So now we light this crystal up over here, which will disable the the trap and stuff, the, the air jets going up. And then we're going to come pull this lever. And this is our last opportunity to shrine without D-Dory. You're three wizard, three barbarian at the moment. I am proud. Strength-based. What else? Gonna be dual wielding with that monstrosity, or you're just gonna have the one big old great sword? That should, that should make sense. Yeah, I'm, that seems like a good build to me. All right, so we're gonna go. Electric and fire. We're going to make sure that we actually remember to put on our death ward in advance. Alright. So, now that this, these four turned on and this rune's ready to go, we're going to take this air jet up and over. Woo! And we're going to take damage hitting our head. Why, I don't know. We just always do. We're going to throw our AoE here. Now, monsters spawn in this room. Monsters spawn everywhere down here. There is no place safe. Not really. However, the big bad monster can't go all the way down here and hurt you. He'll chase you very far, but he, he won't. He can't get all the way down here. Okay. So... Try this stun maneuver, I guess, for now. Stunned a lot of stuff, actually. Um, but we do want to get things clear. And things will typically not mess with you back here. Um, unless you do something to, to bring them back this into this room. So this is where I personally like to stick my hireling. Alright. There will be some more guys here somewhere, I think. Uh, looks clear. Alright, so these buttons, you want to kind of avoid them. Because they will cast various spells. Like a dancing ball. Alright. Throw that dancing ball out. Alright. Now let's talk about the, the idea behind the quest. just die. Fortunate. So there's this little puzzle down here on the ground. And in a perfect world, what would happen is, we would stand up here, 
figure out the puzzle very quickly, very, very quickly, and we would solve this puzzle. The problem is, things don't love us anymore. And the monsters now continuously spawn down here. So you have a couple of options. You can stay down here with a group of people, try to pull the monsters around to the sides, back, etc. And and try to um, basically keep the puzzle under control. We're gonna go back for a quick heal, I think that's what we're gonna do. I feel like we are not we are not gaining on our heal very quick. Or you can just do what I have started doing in this quest. You just kill the big boss guy. Every time you kill a boss, the, or hurt the boss guy, he's got different tiers. And as he clicks down a tier, one of the the uh, buttons will light up. Now, once that happens, once a you've done enough damage to him that a button has lit up permanently, then you will no longer be able to get the ability to... go in and get this bonus chest behind this rainbow force field. Okay? Sorry, but that's it's just how it is. Oh, good. And right there. See, it doesn't take very long to get that first trigger to go. So somewhere around here is our boss guy. What we're going to do we're just going to run around backwards, do our best to avoid hitting any of these buttons. And we're just going to go right ahead and empty everything we have into this guy. Not going to worry about anything other than just taking him down. Then when our life starts to get a little bit low and it gets a little bit creepy, we're going to launch back out this hole. Like now, because we're at half-life, so we want to go back out here. Find whatever killed our poor hireling. Re-raise said hireling. Need a heal. Just a heal. And try to keep all the trash on us still. And we'll run back in here. See if we can luck sack solve the puzzle. With like a quick move or two. And when we can't, we're just going to shoot the bad guy again. Pretty straightforward, if boring. It's just a matter of time. Um, oh my god, the guy's following me around. You dork. get all the way back here. I used to really like the infight in this quest because I could... The bad guys didn't spawn anywhere near as quick as they do now. So you could take your time and solve the puzzle uh, with a lot of like run up, run down maneuvers. Uh, but that is not not the case anymore. So like, used to be able to run up here and then fall down, work on the puzzle, and be relatively comfortable in your ability that you would be able to like run back up the puzzle, and the monsters would not have spawned like thirteen dudes on it or whatever. Uh, but somewhere. 
quite a while ago, actually. They changed the spawn rate in this room. I think it was an accident along with some other change. And it, uh, it messed with the spawn rate in this room real bad. Ever since then, I have not been able to solve this puzzle alone. <laughs> Excuse me. We are quite close, however, to solving the puzzle now. It is not a whole lot of moves away. We're also only 30,000 hit points away from killing this guy. So I'm just going to focus on killing, killing the guy. We just have to slay him. It doesn't matter how. Once he's damaged, we're already locked out of getting the bonus chest. So We happen to find the solution down here. Awesome. If not, I don't care. The only reason I even look is because, again, sometimes it can save you several minutes of running around while you kill this guy if you see like a two button solution or a three button solution or something. Yeah, I think that monk that was way over there was actually attacking our NPC. It just was messed up. Targeting this guy for some reason. He's only got like a hundred points left. Will you not take much longer to finish him off? Alright, so now all we have to do is loot this chest. And the quest is done. Bad guys do continue to spawn in here, so don't dally too long. Uh, this in chest and this optional chest are basically the same, and the, except you don't get a second. Um, you don't get like a special, a second special, um, stumbling through the brush, you finally find the hidden entrance. How to put it? Uh, this, this, uh, Sybaris Dragon Shard Essence. Uh, so we've been collecting these essences, one from each of the three quests, and we are now technically flagged for the end quest. Now all we have to do is flag to actually get into the explorer zone for the inquest. Uh, that's a little bit of its own thing. Uh, but basically, I'm, I'm going to tack on to this. Uh, each of the six explorer zones, uh, the Sands of the Menectrin, Giant Hold, um, these three, what's the last one? Orchard of the Macabre. Uh, those six explorer zones, there are those little gems. You probably have seen them before. It's like Valsus Gym or whatever. There's a there's a bunch of like level twelve g name gems floating around the explorer zones. They're exclusive, yada yada yada. So the general idea is that you need three of those six, three different ones of those six gems. To be able to get into the final SOS area. Used to be all six back in the day. Uh, so there was a lot of like weird going back and looking through old explorer zones. Um, in the Wayback Machine. Not anymore. You just need three of them which means you can run through here and get them. Um, or if you found them as your normal desert runs you can get through in there. Uh, the nice thing about those gyms. Is when you find them because they are named items they do have an XP value for your sentient gym so if you find them out in the desert or you find them out in the 
the explorer zone in general and you have no intention of going to this quest area they also have a gold value so you can sell them you can also if you carry around your trash can your sentience uh, item you can dump them in there as well all right well that was uh, monastery of the scorpion yeah so uh hope you enjoyed please hit the like subscribe follow buttons and uh if you have any questions or comments use the chat box and i'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching Toodles.